beautiful Barcelona, where Nomada are making the equally beautiful game with Gris. Well, this is a Nomada studio. We are in Barcelona in a neighborhood called Gracia, one of the probably most artistic uh, neighborhoods in Barcelona. You met at university? We met yeah. at university, yeah. Roger went to, well, he was uh, studying in Montreal, yeah. a degree, and started working in Ubisoft. So he told me like they were having a nice time there in Montreal if I wanted to join, and then I followed them. So when you came back to Barcelona, you went, both ended up working back at Ubisoft in Barcelona? Yeah. So at one point, uh, we went out uh, on a birthday party with some friends, and mm -hmm. that's where we met Conrad, who's uh, the artist. And so this was just serendipity. Yeah, you yeah, went yeah, really. to a party with some friends. Yeah. You were still working at Ubisoft. Yeah, yes. Yeah, exactly. And it was you met super random. Conrad entered the room. Yeah, and pretty much. We needed an artist. He had an idea of a game, and he didn't know any programmers. So yeah, we just started chatting. Uh, everything went well, and at some point, we just decided to leave Ubisoft, focus on this, and let's do it. This is your first game. Yeah. Why did you want to work on a game? Basicamente. Llevaba mucho tiempo trabajando en el mundo del arte y tenía ganas de probar cosas nuevas. Nada, desde la aparición de los videojuegos independientes, pues vi la posibilidad y gracias a conocer a Adrián y a Rouget, vi la posibilidad de, de, de encajar mi arte en, en esta historia, ¿no? en, en Gris. Pero fue gracias a juegos como Journey o Insight o Mundo en Valley que me abrieron los ojos para poder uh, en, entrar en esta industria. How did you come up with that idea? How, how long did you have it in your head? Vi un dibujo a lápiz de una amiga mía y me gustó mucho, mucho la idea de, de hacer un juego que empezara en color gris. He had this uh, pitch of a game where it starts in black and white and you bring colors back to the world. And we kind of started talking about, you know, mechanics or what, thing could, what could we do and everything. And we saw it was, a, was doable, was feasible, because it's very easy to get lost in huge projects when you start mm. your, your small things. Yeah. We knew we wanted to keep the scope uh, small to be able to finish it. But there was a bit of a cra some crazy ideas at the beginning. There was a point that we were thinking about making the game, like drawing every frame of the game on paper, and then Scanning. scan it, yeah. and then put it in the computer, and it's like, okay, that's no, probably too much. Okay, very authentic, <laughs> very real, and I, I know there some teams that have done that before. Yeah, and props uh, to them. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. amazing, it's a lot of yeah, work, yeah. but way too much work. We still scan some like watercolors, we scan some things, uh, we we spend much time uh, figuring out which brush we should use, yeah. or uh, how we could add this kind of paper paper effect mm -hmm. to the to the game. Right. So we work for it to look like if it was a real thing, yeah. but it's not. It's, it's digital. Did you have to adapt or maybe even compromise what you wanted to do artistically in any way to make it work mm. in the game? Yo al venir de otra industria hacia no 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 pienso en por ejemplo optimizar las imágenes o los assets pensar en en patterns o, o, o módulos. Yo dibujaba carteles, campañas de publicidad, etcétera, o exposiciones. Aquí he tenido que tener una mente más matemática, más racional, y intentar entender cómo funciona el mundo de los videojuegos a nivel de arte. Hemos encontrado un buen compromiso, creo, pero sí que me he tenido que adaptar un poco en ese sentido. The most empty development schedule yeah. I've, ever, I've ever seen. Yes, but at the beginning, especially the first year, we had a, a lot of uh, post-its, you know, saying like, okay, we have a milestone here, we have to do that, 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 that. So but I like it because you, nice. you walk in here, you look, you think development schedule, you're expecting something really busy and you get, it fits with the whole... Yeah. Ah, Not breathe. too stressful. He's like, okay. No stress. No stress. How many people did you have at the peak of production? At the peak, I think I would say 17 or 18. Maybe there's only four of you who ever worked in video yeah, games. Yeah, four or five top. I think uh, the, the type of game we have is so artistic that yeah. it makes sense that most of the people were artists that were working in the game. The music is quite amazing as well. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you find these guys? Twitter. Twitter! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, connecting, yeah. connecting creators Connect all over the world <laughs> yeah. since 2006. I remember Conrad told us like, well, I know this band that maybe yeah. they could, you know, suit very well this game. And we listened to it and we were like, wow, yeah. that's really, really good. Berlin is a band based in Barcelona. During the last year we made a couple of albums. Oh yeah? And um, 
also seems that we make music for video games. So, it, so it <laughs> seems like it seems like that you're making music for video games. Yeah. Yeah. How did you end up making music for Gris? First is that uh, he contacted us because uh, we worked together, but also because he knew that I am a, a gamer, so oh, it right. was easier for him also to. Uh, he had the perfect music for his game, but also he could have a, a fluid communication with me, explaining how the game okay. uh, had to be structured and, and so on. So how long ago was this when you first started talking about it? Two and a half, three years ago. So at that point there was no game. What did he give you to work with? How did you know what to do with the music? So Conrad, just in two seconds, he drew a landscape that later will become, you know, uh, what it is now. He's like, this is it. So from here, you know, the story begins, this is a protagonist, this is landscape, imagine this, this world, and so on. And from that moment, everything started, you know. Well, I think the Gris soundtrack is really missing is some solid percussion. What kind of gameplay would you say the game has? Well, it's a, I would say it's a 2D platformer with uh, puzzles and some uh, platforming challenges. But uh, from the beginning, we always wanted to make something accessible. All in all, it's kind of an experience. We kind of like to say it's a big mix of uh, inside journey and Ori and the Blind Forest, but taking a bit from everywhere. Did you come up with art elements and say, here, what can you do with this? Did they come with gameplay elements and say, we need something for this gameplay element? How did that work? Normally, es, yo tengo muchas ideas. Uh, muchas ideas son muy malas y algunas buenas. Y, y bueno, entre, entre todos decidimos. La parte creativa viene un poco más de, de mi parte. Sí que evidentemente ya mucho feedback y, y me ayuda mucho a hablar con, con vosotros y aportan muchísimo. No, no os quiero menospreciar, faltaría más. So how did you come up with the whole thing of attaching the abilities to the dress? This is like a metaphor, okay? Let's say that there is a few elements in the game that for us represent something. Like, for example, the dress could represent, uh, let's say, the, the ability or how, how she grows and how she gains new things. That's something that happens to all of us in life. It's like new tools you get when you are growing yeah. that it will help you to overcome problems. So let's say that that's, that's a way of expressing her maturity in a way yes. that makes sense in the story that we have behind it. One of the most amazing things that I think you've, you've done with this game is create something that is so emotional. I said I was doing a demo uh, last week, even just rehearsing a demo, and someone came up to me at the end with tears in her eyes. And just from watching my awful demo <laughs> practice on screen, she was just, I mean, have you experienced that a lot? People's, people's reactions, has it surprised you? Yeah, that was, uh, I think, a guy from Famitsu, was it? In, in Pax, uh, no? Yeah, in Pax Seattle, who cried uh, playing the game also, which is pretty impressive. When I played the first few times, the combination of the music, yeah. of course I know about the story, but the music, the art, and I think that the pace that when it brings you to some moments in the, in the game, particularly when you reveal either new uh, colors or yep. whatever, yeah. There's a few scenes that the music is actually just gets you there. I don't know. I don't know why it gets me as well. It's like it, it puts a bit of a tear in your eye, even just because of the music, the art, and what you think is happening. It, it feels something. Yeah, yeah, you get goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think some point of the yeah. game, you you can be really moved yeah. mm -hmm. for what is going on on the screen, especially three or four mo moments of mm -hmm. the game. It's a game that wants you to feel moved, to to ask um, uh, what is going on, what is. Mm -hmm. Uh, the story about what is happening to Greece. So you're approaching the end of, of this project. How do you feel now? I'm right. really, I'm really yeah. happy. You feel relaxed. I want holidays. Yeah. That's amazing. I want holidays. Yeah, me <laughs> yeah. too. I just need to rest. No, but you're supposed to be nervous. You're supposed to be scared and thinking, what if everybody hates it? No. No, I no. think we're pretty happy with the end result. <laughs> yeah. Like we're just wow. kind of nervous now. We're waiting for. Uh, I know why. I know why. This is because you're programmers, not artists. We are robots. Yes. We don't exactly. have feelings. Yes. Honestly, I think we we really had an amazing experience doing it. Uh -huh. It was a great thing we did it. I think the end product 
uh, is very similar to what he had in mind. Yeah. So we are very happy with the with the results. So it's like, I hope people like it. But if they don't, it's like, well, I'm sorry, but we like it. We think it's a really <laughs> good thing. I think you should try it because even that you might think is not the your, type of your type of game, you should try. Honestly, yeah. it's it's really special thing, yeah. and we put our hearts on it. Well, I'm really anxious to play <laughs> yeah. it um, alone <laughs> in my yeah. home. I just hope the best for the game. Uh, I can't uh, see just a, a, at the music. I, al I always look at game as a world. I'm very happy right now. Para mí esto es el logro ya es. No quería hacer algo peor de lo que tenía en mi cabeza y creo que ha quedado mucho mejor. Así que estoy súper, súper contento y, y descansado.